Hey everyone, this is Matt from Third Arm Robotics. In this demonstration video, the sorter accurately distinguishes between five different object types and also knows when it fails to grab an object. There's a receptacle for each object type, bricks, plates, slopes, Technic bricks, and miscellaneous Technic. I'll go ahead and do some uh, commentary while this video is playing. Please keep in mind that this is not a demonstration of typical use of the sorter. In order to keep the length of this video as short as possible, I won't be using most of the normal object management operations like dispensing, gathering, and spreading. This video is only to demonstrate sorting by object type. So I'm deliberately making it very easy for the sorter to find and grab objects. And this is why you see me placing only a few objects down when the working area is empty. What you'll see in this video is 139 objects being accurately sorted, eight correctly identified missed grabs, and 19 misidentifications. That's an accuracy of 87.1%. So in practice, a human would have to go into each receptacle and pull out those 19 misidentified objects by hand, and then either manually sort them or um, um, put them back in the, um, into the dispenser. I could have artificially sped up this video like many robotics demonstrations do, but I think it's very important for you to see exactly what you might be getting. I should also mention that this is about as slow as the sorter will operate. Behind the scenes there's a lot of telemetry being generated, which means a lot of computer disk I.O. And the motors on the arms are only operating at about um, two-thirds of their full safe speed. So if the sorter seems to appear a little slow to you, just change your playback you know, speed on your um, video player. The average grab in this video takes about 11 and a half seconds. As I said before, there's a significant amount of unnecessary overhead in the software that I'm using for um, development. Um, and also, you know, the motors are not running at full speed. I am planning on being able to drop the average grab time to below 10 seconds per object. So yeah, so let's uh, let's sit back and, and sort of watch this go, and I'll make some commentary. So there, it's um, it's been doing actually some object management. It, it sees that slope but it wasn't quite sure what it was. So it was trying to move it around, move it around, move it around. After a couple of tries, I'm going to get in there and um, you know, make it a little bit easier for it to, uh, to grab, which it did. So that looks like a little yellow brick and it's going into the brick bin. It's going after, that looks like a, a yellow plate, like a one by six or one by eight. And that should go into the plate bin. Yay. And that looks like a uh, like a one by one brick. Red. Takes a look. And there it goes. And there, um, one of the things that you can't see in in these in these views are the two cameras. There are two overhead cameras. One is looking at the work area, and one is going to look at an object after it's, after it's grabbed. So here it's doing a little bit of object maintenance because it's not exactly sure what it's seeing. But once it, it locks on, it measures the geometry of the object and decides uh, how best to, to grab it. So it'll rotate its, its little grabber there, 
that looks like a little one by one plate. So, but no, nope, I think it got it. Yep, yeah, it got it. I've got to be pretty fast when I'm um, placing these things. Uh, there's a little bit of timing involved because I, I don't want my arm or hand to get into the field of view. It'll just confuse it. And I'll actually um, point that out. This happens, I think, once or twice in this video. So I'll point that out. That, that looks like a Technic brick going in, into the Technic brick bin. That looks like, uh, it's hard to tell, it looks like maybe a one by two brick goes into the brick bin. So there's a big blue plate. So it can't grab the long way, but it can grab the short way. So that's what it did. And that should go into the plate bin. Looks like a, does, is that a yellow plate, like a two by two plate? Yeah, that should go into the plate bin. Boink. And there's a slope. Oh, it missed it, so let's see if it it looks up. There's nothing there. So it just gets out of the way so it can look again. And I kind of, obviously I moved it there just to make sure that it was in the right, the right place. The, the, the actual working area is a pretty small area um, if any objects are outside of 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 a relatively small central area there then um, the um, arm will go into gather mode and it'll it'll um, do things that I don't want to demonstrate here because it's just not uh, not um, necessary for this demonstration at least you can see um, gathering in um, previous demonstration videos. So there goes a Technic brick. That looks like a yellow one by four Technic brick. Let's see if it gets that one right. Should go on the Technic brick. Oh no, nope, it doesn't. So see, there was a a, a misidentification. It uh, it knew that it was a brick, but. Um, it um, misidentified that. So here you can sort of see that it must have seen my, my arm or hand when I was trying to move that Technic brick back into place. So it did a little bit of object maintenance there. There's some miscellaneous Technic parts. It's a little pulley. Should go up. Now the reason why it's sort of going up up and over is because normally on the left there um, would be the, uh, the large um, dispenser so it has sort of has to move around that um, but of course you know, the dispenser isn't isn't necessary or there in this um, demonstration there's another so it misidentified that as a slope Some smaller pieces look like one by two plates. Goes into the plate bin. Looks like another plate. Is that a slope, maybe? A yellow slope? A yellow plate? I guess a yellow plate. Looks like a two by two by eight brick there. This looks like a plate. Is it a plate or a brick? See, it's even hard for us to tell. That's a brick. Okay, so it should go on to the brick pile. Yep. Looks like a yellow slope. Threw it into the Technic thing. 
There's a miscellaneous technique. So you can see when it when it sort of holds holds the object up. Like right, right there. It's taking an image with a second second camera in order to decide uh, what kind of object it is. By the time it's grabbed an object, it already knows what color it is um, and its size. That second look is just to give the system a different view of, of the object and then um, both images, the image that is taken of the object in the work area and the image of the object in the um, gripper are what is um, fed to the um, to the uh, neural network to uh, decide what um, what kind of object it is. So there's a little a little tiny gear. Whoop! Oh, it missed it, so that should be a missed. Should just sort of swing back, get out of the way. Gonna go after that big red slope. Put it in the slope pile. Doesn't like what it's seeing there. I gotta move fast in order to get it into a decent spot. Accurately decided that that was a miscellaneous Technic object. There's a big red or blue um, Technic brick. Should go back in the Technic brick pile. put a support in there. That's usually how those supports supports are going to sit, right? They're going to sit on their side like that. But um, to actually get get one, you know, to stand still is um, sometimes a little bit of a challenge for these um, demonstrations. It's not going to be a problem when the uh, system is actually running um, because um, if these things move around, that's fine. I have ways of making sure that they get grabbed. Looks like a little Technic 1x2. Let's see if it goes in the Technic brick pile. Yeah. And those look like two regular bricks. There's a yellow 2x4. Looks like a 2x4. Goes into the brick pile. And looks like a, like a one by six maybe brick goes into the brick pile. Here's another big red plate. It um, when it when it or actually how it decides to uh, to go after an object is it is it is it is it finds all the objects in the field and then it just randomly chooses a color and then it finds all the objects that have that color and then it looks for the largest one that is the least um, um, congested so so you know the one that is sort of furthest away and also the largest so you'll um, typically see that see so here we're coming up on a small blue uh, and a large blue. It should go after the large blue, which it does. Get rid of those big pieces um, and um, get rid of pieces that are, you know, all by themselves. Those are the easy grabs. Couple of slopes and a plate. I think that's a plate, like a one by eight plate. Yeah. It even helps helps us to have sort of two different views. Oh, there it uh, it saw my arm again. Just doing a little object maintenance.
another uh, support, which I'm calling a miscellaneous technic. Going after, looks like a blue slope. Let's see if it goes in the slope pile. Yes. A little red slope. Slope pile, yes. That should be a miscellaneous technic. like a plate threw up a, a couple more supports there I'll put them upside down this time so I'm trying trying to, to present multiple angles That it thought was a was a brick, obviously not not right. Looks like a Technic brick. Oh, it thinks it's a brick. Big four by what is that? Four by six, four by six, four by eight plate. Put into the plate bin. That should go into the brick bin. Looks like another Technic piece there. In the Technic bin, yes. I thought that was a slope. Red one by eight plate. Another Technic brick. Looks like just a regular brick, like a one by one by eight, two by eight that is. Looks like a slope. Back into the slope bin. Wasn't quite sure about that one. Gonna scooch it around a little bit, take another look. Ah, I like that one. Looks like a red Technic brick. Yeah. Gray slope. So I sort of deliberately put that red that red slope up on a up on a weird side they can fall that way i want to present this thing with with as many challenges as it can and it has no problem it's a red slope and there it goes into the slope pile Another big blue Technic brick. Can't tell if that's a Technic brick or just a regular brick. Yeah, it's a regular brick, okay. See how that moved around a little bit? Now look at that. Ah, so 
Luckily, it didn't it didn't go flying anywhere, so I didn't have to do do much to to, to fix it. But as you can see, it uh, finds it the next time around and disposes of it uh, correctly. Well, gonna take another look at that one. Scooch it around a little bit. There we go. Oh, kind of bumped the camera there, but looks okay. Not the uh, camera on the sorter itself, just my you know camera that is recording this video. Hope you sort of like the split the split screen. Um, apologies for for the image on the right hand side. It's not entirely clear the uh, the video format on that camera is just different and, and strange so it, it was having some problems um, in terms of the resolution but this 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 shows what I sort of want you to see here in terms of uh, functionality I just wanted sort of more of a close-up view of the bins to you know show where those objects are actually going I know it's pretty um, clear on the left hand side too so but just to you know be as, as uh, wide open as I possibly can because uh, you know this is going to be an investment on your part um, there is going to be a return but um, you know it's going to be a pretty sizable chunk so you ought to know exactly what you're getting and so I like to be able to show as much as I possibly can uh, so there it dropped a piece identified it as a miss little slope one by two slope that looks like a uh, a two by four uh, slope um, but it sees it as a brick like a yellow slope so there's a blue a blue slope over there but it's going to grab the Technic, the uh, miscellaneous Technic connector there first. That was a pretty bad, bad grab. Scooted, scooted things around a little bit too much. So in order to speed the thing up, I get in there and move things around so there isn't any any clutter. Take care of that red plate. Take a good look. Get it over there. Another miss. Let's see if it makes sure. Yep, it knows that it's a miss and so just gets out of the way. And where that slope ended up is probably okay, but I'm gonna scooch it back over just just to make sure. Blue slope into the slope bin. So you notice it went after the, the larger of the blues. Oh, dropped it. It would have put it in the right place. 
blue brick. Give it a little bit of help there. Hopefully a better grab this time. Gets in the right place. Get burrs. Mm, gonna take another look there. Nope, doesn't have a good grab on it. Gonna see it as a miss. Yeah, it's a miss. There's a good grab. Another miscellaneous technic. It's sort of understandable that this system does have a little bit of difficulty distinguishing between technic and technic brick, or I'm sorry, bricks and technic bricks, uh, because you know they do look sort of the same, and they can look sort of the same. So here, here's another slope where it's it's taking a look, and it's like I know that there's something there but I'm not really happy with what I'm seeing. So it tries to scooch it around a little bit and see if we can get a better angle or sometimes that scooching around will actually uh, uh, change how it's, how it's placed on the work area. In this particular case, I went ahead and changed the geometry a little bit there. Blue Technic. Here goes that red slope, should be easily identified, or seen at least. Let's see if it gets a slope. Yep, into the slope bin it goes. Okay, we're sort of coming up on the end of the video. Yellow Technic, two hole. Let's see if it does a brick. So there's a gear on its side and it recognizes it as a miscellaneous Technic. So another miscellaneous Technic here. So please get a hold of me if you're interested in this system. Uh, there are going to be some opportunities to get a hold of one of these. Um, so just um, go to the website in the description and uh, get a hold of me. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you later.